So, Mr. Bear, you uh, you are ready to proceed. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Wait one second. I can't really see the target very well, but okay. <laughs> Good shooting. Looks like it's a pretty tight grouping. <laughs> tight grouping. Let's go out and take a look. Wow, tight grouping. Look at that. Okay, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And a missing one. <laughs> so it should have been ten. So what do you think? Like a fairly tight grouping. I think that I would try to pull it in for the future mm -hmm. and uh, aim for getting it on the target. Uh -huh. So is that, uh, is that your advice? To anyone, really. Just aim for the target, hit the target, and then go home happy. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd say. Mm -hmm. Now, does this make you, because of this tight grouping, does that make you part of any well-regulated well militia? Well, you know, just be able to do that type of thing means that you can defend your family, you can defend your state against your family and the state. <laughs> Basically, yeah, you're defending yourself against your yourself. Mm. And uh, NRA has told us that, you know, that you're better off with a gun shooting at people with guns than you are without a gun not shooting at people that don't have guns. It's like that's uh, my understanding of very important things: state freedom, tight groupings. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's ten. Oh yeah. So do you want to point them out again? Yeah, that's ten there. Oh, so you hit twice in the same spot. Yeah. Now, is that considered better than tight grouping? <clears throat> uh, depends on where the spot is. <laughs> if the spot's off the target, not as good. Yeah. But if the spot was in the middle, which you'll notice is uh, pristine, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. then that would be good. All right. Uh, let's see how you do, Mr. Miss.